Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Cikgu Hasnita How do you do? I hope everyone is doing fine And for those new visitors, I would like to wish you a very warm welcome to my channel This is Physics Form 4 DLP class So what are we going to discuss in this video? It will be the final part of part 6 on content standard 3.1 Newton Universal Law of Gravitation and our learning standard today which is 3.1.6 will be to determine the mass of the earth and the sun by using Newton Universal Law of Gravitation and Centripetal Force and students before we begin I would like to tell you that you can find the notes relates to this video at the video description below so go and get your copies you can download and print them out as well so are you good to go if you are ready to begin with the lesson let us first roll the vt okay students so let us begin our activity today with activity 10 where you can find this activity in your textbook on page 93. So from the diagram up here, what can you see there? Very good. There is the moon orbiting the earth. And from the diagram shows here, you can see that capital M refer to the mass of the earth and small m refer to the mass of the moon where r is the radius of the moon's orbit and t given the period of revolution of the moon around the earth period refers to the time required for this moon to make one complete revolution around the earth all right and v is the linear speed of the moon okay so what's next so from the previous diagram we can find what is the distance traveled by the moon when making one complete orbit around the earth so how to find the distance when the object or the bodies move in circular path so the distance is shown by the circumference you learn this in mathematics so the distance will be very good it is 2 pi r all right and the linear speed of the moon remember speed is given by Yes, distance divide time. And we can write distance in mathematical terms as V. This is the symbol represent the speed. So distance is 2 pi r. And the time here refers to the period. Very good. So we write V as 2 pi r divide t. Okay. So what's next? So if you look at these two equations, so how from Newton's universal law of gravitation and centripetal force, we can derive a single formula in order to find the mass of the sun and also the mass of the earth. So let's do this together. All right. Do you remember the formula for universal law of gravitation? We learned it earlier in the first part of this chapter. It is very good. F equal G M M divide R squared. Okay. And for centripetal force, we just learned it in the previous video, part 5. Remember? So what is the formula for centripetal force? Very good. It is F equal M V squared divide R. Okay. And when we equate these two equations, so what will it become? So since they are both F, so we can write on the left side, g m m divide r squared will be equal to m v squared divide r. Okay, so I hope you get it uh, until this point. And if you look at these two equations, we can cancel the common factor at both sides. So you can see there is an m on the left and also on the right side. So we can cancel that m. And also we have r on the left. And also on the right side so we cancel this M first and then we cancel the R okay so what's left very good so on the left we have GM and on the right side we have R V squared actually this R is coming from the Newton's universal law of gravitation then we bring it to the other side 
okay so we have gm equal r b squared and then for this v we substitute with 2 pi r divide t from the previous slide okay linear speed for uh, the moon which is revolving the earth so we do the substitution what will we get in the right side here we write back gm so it will be equal to yes very good it will be r so we substitute v here so it will be 2 pi r squared and below is t squared all right okay then so we rearrange this formula the next step we rearrange this formula and making m as the subject so it will become m equal 4 pi squared r cube divide gt squared and this is the formula to determine the mass of the earth so what do you think so finally we have derived uh, from the universal law of gravitation formula and centripetal force and end up with this formula to find the mass of the earth and the sun again it is m equal 4 pi squared r cube divide gt squared simple right you have derived the formula which we are going to use to determine the mass of the earth and also the mass of the sun and now is the time to practice them okay so are you ready to do question one so what do we have here you are given with a period of revolution of the moon around the earth is t 2.36 times 10 6 second and the radius of the moon's orbit r is 3.83 times 10 8 meter so we have to find the mass of the earth m okay so remember the steps for solving a questions on involving calculation very good so first we list out all the given informations so they are t the period of a revolution of the moons where 2.36 times 10 6 second and we have r the orbit of the moon which is uh, the radius of orbit of the moon which is 3.83 times 10 8 meter and also g which is very good it is the gravitational constant okay uh, 6.67 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared so we are looking for this m so remember the formula we just tried earlier it is m equal 4 pi squared r cube divide gt squared very good and the next step we do the substitution yes so we substitute at the correct place remember so this is uh, r 3.83 times 10 8 cube don't forget the cube back there and down here is the gravitational constant 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 and here is the period of revolution of the moon which is 2.36 times 10 6 and don't forget to square them okay so what is your final answer i will give you a few seconds to do the calculation before i show you my answer all right so it will be 0.9704 times 10 to the power of 24 kilogram Okay, students, when you write your final answer for calculation, you can write them between two to four decimal places. Okay, uh, you don't have to write too much, too many decimal places. It does not necessary. And try to avoid to put the answer in one decimal place only. Okay, so you put them in two to four decimal places. It will be just nice together with the appropriate unit. So again, the mass of the Earth here is 5.9704 times 10 to the power of 24 kilogram. Okay, so now let's check on the next questions. So here we are looking for the mass of the Sun. Okay, so what do we have there? The Earth revolved the Sun in a period of one year. And the radius of the orbit is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meter. So again, find, calculate the mass of the sun. So how to do that? 
So this question is labeled as K but a high order thinking skill question. Why do you think so? If you read the information properly, here the period is given in one year. Okay, so there is the trick. So first we have to convert the time into second. Yes. So one year, 365 days. So one day we have 24 hours. One hour we have 3,600 seconds. And then given the radius of the orbit, 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meter. And again, this is the, yes, gravitational constant. So we are looking for this M, mass of the sun. So the second step, yes, we write the formula to be applied where M equal 4 pi squared r cubed divide gt squared. Very good. And the next step is substitution. Yes. So you substitute r, g, and t. And don't forget the cube and the period, uh, the squared as well. Okay, for r and t. So what do you get? The mass of the sun here. Okay. Come on, work with your calculator and later compare your answer with mine. Do we get the same answer or not? All right. So what is it? Very good. So the mass of the sun here is 2.0086 times 10 to the power of 30 kilogram. And again, you may leave your final answer in between 2 to 4 decimal places together with the appropriate unit. All right. So I hope you're happy with question 1 and question 2 and most important you are clear how to find the mass of the sun and the mass of the moon. Uh, sorry, the mass of the earth. Alright. So what can we conclude from today's exercises? Number 1. What is the formula to determine the mass of the earth and the sun? So it is, yes, m equal 4 pi squared r cubed divide gt squared. Then, second question, state the data needed to calculate the mass of the Earth. So, according to this formula, what is the data we need in order to find the mass of the Earth? From this uh, equation, m is the mass of the Earth. So, pi and g is a, is a constant value. It's a fixed number. So, we have two unknown there, r and t, where r is... Yes, the radius of orbit of any satellite or moon which is orbiting the Earth. Okay, and T is the period of revolution of the satellite or the moon. Easy, right? And then the third question, same. State the data needed to calculate the mass of the sun. So again, this is the mass of the sun, pi and g. It's a fixed number, it's a constant. So we have R and T there. Again, R is the radius of the orbit of any planets which are revolving the sun. It can be Earth, it can be Venus, it can be Mars, it can be Jupiter or any other planets in the solar system. Alright? And T is the, yes, period of revolution of the planet concern. Okay? So students, I think that's all for today. We have learned how to derive a formula from the combinations of universal law of gravitation formula and centripetal formula in order to determine the mass of Earth and mass of the Sun. So don't forget to join me again in our next lesson. We will discover about Kepler's law in Content Standard 3.2. So that is Johannes Kepler, right? So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video benefits and increase your understanding on physics. So assalamualaikum. Take a good care of yourself and see you again. Bye-bye.